This is a quest guide for a very Scottish celebration with Merida in Disney Dreamlight Valley. This is her level 10 friendship quest, okay? So we start this off talking to Merida, of course. And we're going to have a bloody very Scottish celebration. So the first thing we're going to do is talk to Scrooge McDuck about supplies for her Scottish banquet. So let's go and see Scrooge. He's generally going to be in the bind because that's where his store is. Mm -mm. There he is, Scrooge McDuck. And he just, well, gives us everything, it seems, which is uh, very unusual for him. Uh, and we're going to place the um, Clan Dunbrock banners in Storybook Vale. And we can also, pla uh, pl oh my god, we can also place the Clan McDuck banners, but that is optional. So which ones are which? So if you just open, um, how do we do this? Oh, Furniture, Requests, and Clan Dunborough ones. And place them all. There we go. And then we're going to bring the supplies that he gave us to Merida herself. Let's go and talk to her and give her the Scots Banquet supplies. And now, Tiana said that she would send the salt-baked sea wolf recipe to you in the mail. So let's check our mailbox. And don't forget, you have got a house here um, in the valley, in the storybook vale. So if you check your mail, Merida's uh, recipe, claim that. And then if you go into your inventory, you can use that to get the recipe for it, of course. And now we need some free salt crystals and free sea wolf Sea wolves are basically you can fish those um in white ripples in the bind and I, I believe also in in other areas of storybook vale but the easiest place to get them is just white ripples in the bind so you need to get also salt crystals so what you actually want to do for salt crystals uh it may let's see how rare these are going to be i have a feeling they'll be really rare but you want to go to the ever after which is basically this whole area on the left here like this purple area and you just want to fish but you want to fish outside of ripples so just in the open water anywhere in the ever after okay and there you go i just got a salt crystal perfect first try okay does that mean it's rare or not? Let's see about the other two. Okay, I just got like free cod, and now I've got another salt crystal. So it does seem pretty common, so that's good. So once you've got all of those, we're going to cook some salt-baked sea wolf for the banquet. So there is also a cooking pot um, near where your house is in the storybook vale. So you could just go over there and, well, cook it. I'm going to go to the cooking pot. And recipe, salt-baked sea wolf, autofill cook that up and we need to make three of them by the way so make sure you've got enough and it is again white ripples for the sea wolf okay very easy to catch when i was trying to get my hatted sorcerer crab whatever it's called i kept getting the sea wolves because i was trying to you know make an orange ripple appear and that's how i know um so we give her the free salt baked sea wolves to merida that is and then she gives us um, a little, like, cute area, I think, for the party. Place the Scots Banquet set up in the valley. Um, okay, so furniture, request, Scots Banquet. I'm just going to place it here for now. And then I guess we're all going to have a party. Woo! -hoo! And then after that, we are going to talk to uh, Merida once more. You can talk to Scrooge McDuck as well, but you don't have to. And then we're going to go and talk to the law keeper after we've spoken to Merida, okay? And that is the book. If you've forgotten who the hell the law keeper is, that's this book here. So let's talk to her, I guess. Or them. I'm not really sure what their pronouns are, as they are actually a book, um, after all. And then they give us uh, some sort of scroll. I wasn't really looking to be honest. I was too busy yapping away. Uh, we need to get 20 petrified wood, some topazes, and some pine cones. Pine cones you can actually find scattered around in the bind. And in fact, here are two I've literally just found uh, beneath this tree. They're very common. You shouldn't have much trouble finding 10 pine cones. Topaz, you can actually mine rocks. Obviously back in the mainland uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley, but also the bind. I've actually found a lot of topazes in the bind just by farming rocks as well. Um, and then petrified wood, there's two ways to get that. It's actually also by mining these rocks in the bind. 
And another really quick way to get petrified wood is if you come up into the library here, there's actually ones you can mine, which are these. Use your pickaxe on these little bits of like wood, woody stones or stony wood, um, and they will give you petrified wood as well. So I'm just going to get the rest of my pine cones and we will carry on. So once you've got all of those, we're going to craft the Mer Merida's Fate Tapestry. Ooh. Okay. So if we go into uh, furniture, we can then make the tapestry of all those items. And then we're going to gift it to Merida. No, wait. Gift Mer yeah, gift it to Merida on behalf of the Law Keeper. So we give that to Merida. Oh, that's nice. And now we're going to go and listen to Merida and the Law Keeper. So I'm guessing she's going to go and thank her, of course. And once they've had their little chit-chat about how proud they are, which was very sweet, we can go and talk to Meridia. And she gives us, oh, a lovely Scottish outfit. And there we go. A very Scottish celebration is now complete. I really hope that was a useful quest guide for you. If it was, I please hope you can consider clicking that subscribe button as I always cover off all of the newest Disney Dreamlight Valley quests and things as soon as they come out on release day. You can also get the rest of the quests in this new DLC in the playlist now on screen.